ESGN Nation, and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net. As we're making a return back into the Kansas City Royals franchise today, as we're in episode 128, and we are finishing off this series that we currently are in against the Orioles. This is game three, uh, and hopefully, uh, you guys got the uh, information or there, I should say, the uh, community page uh, notice there. Uh, I actually was looking for the uh, episode two or the uh, game two of this series that was supposed to be just a standalone inside the game, but unfortunately I misplaced the footage and I lost it. So I apologize for that. Uh, I was really hoping to show you guys that game because it was actually a really good game that we had against the Royals in game two. But we'll go ahead and get into game three as we're taking on Chris Tillman, who is currently five and four for the season with an ERA of 3.9 or 8.9. Uh, his last uh, start was just a couple of days ago where he went uh, where he helped the uh, Orioles get a two nothing victory against the A's. Uh, he worked eight innings of work, gave up six hits, three walks, and struck out six in that game. As for us, well, it's going to be Jason Vargas on the hill today. He is 9 and 2, looking for his 10th win there. If you remember, a couple of episodes ago, we tried to get his 10th win, but came up short as he was taken out of that game. And uh, actually, we've been trying to get his uh, last, he's been trying to get his 10th game here, his 10th victory for the season, the uh, last two starts he's made so far. And uh, we've not been successful. So hopefully, today will be a different story as we go ahead and get into this action here. As we get to the top of the first here, we'll see Charlie Blackman up the bat here. There you see his numbers for his home and road for the season. And we'll see what he can do now in this at bat. So he has an 0 1 count here as Vargas. Going to give the uh, second pitch here in the game. And this one's going to be a chopper there to first base. Hosmer is going to make a nice uh, tag there as he gets an unassisted three there. And that will put the first batter here out in the inning. So Danny, uh, Manny Machado there. Of course, in, if you remember back in game one of this series in the last episode, he was uh, going to be their guy that tried to get them back into the game, ball game there. And, of course, we kept them pretty quiet there in that game. And we'll try to see if we can try to do the same here. He did have a hit or two, uh, but he wasn't really the uh, difference maker in that game, first game of this series. As we'll see a ground ball there going to Moustakis. And that will, of course, be in out there. Nice 5-3 to three put away. Of course, uh, if you remember two from that game, uh, Petroia, or uh, Johnny Peralta, not Petroia, uh, Peralta, was uh, actually, uh, he had, had an injury there, and he's going to be a day-to-day -day there with a back spasm. So we're hoping to have him back out there uh, soon. But, uh, you know, Moose is out there. Moose has been uh, using the, showing off uh, the bat there. And of course, there you see him showing off the glove as he makes a nice defensive stop. Another 5-3 to three put away. So nice 1-2-3 two, two, there for the Royals in the top half of the first. So we'll see the Royals, what they'll do now on their their half. Here it's still in the first inning, and we'll see if uh, what Omar Afonte can do, as he is uh, currently fifth in the American League in uh, average right now. So we'll go ahead get to a 2-0 count here on Afonte, as uh, like I said, he has uh, really been doing a great job here as our leadoff guy, and he is showing that off what he can do as he drops that one for a base hit, and that's going to put him on board there on that one. So nice job. As he gets a single there to right, as you see Gordon up to bat next. 21 R or 21 home runs this season, 70, uh, 47 RBIs for him uh, at this point in the season. So he's got some pretty good numbers there. Of course, an All Star, and this one is going to sell here out to right field. Here, does it stay fair? No, it does not. Try to hook that one around the pole, but. That's going to be just a deep foul ball. So, 0 2 count now for Gordon. As we'll see here, ooh, just gets tied up on that. And that is going to get our left fielder out there. That's one away on the Royals. So, leading the American League right now in home runs. That is no other than Adam Lynn. He is uh, just doing a great job here. If you remember in the last game there, he had a uh, home run there uh, against the, this, the same Orioles uh, in that game where uh, he had his 27th for the season. So we'll see if he can uh, try to get, uh, well, it does not get anything that one, as that one was popped straight up there to the catcher, as we'll see Hosmer up next here. Hosmer gets a full count with one on, two out. 
And Hosmer trying to see if he can do some damage here, but that's just going to be a drop third strike. And, of course, they're going to do their housework there as they get Hosmer there at, out at first base. So that ends the first inning with only one hit so far for, in this game from the Royals. It's nothing, nothing. So we'll move on now here to the top of the third here. We'll see Soraya up the bat, and we'll see what he can do as he's in the lineup here tonight. And we'll see the pitch here from Soraya to Hosmer as Hosmer gets another unassisted three there. And that's going to be out number one there for the Orioles. Dobson up the bat next here. Four home runs, 11 RBIs. And he's been kind of a bit of a pain in this series so far. Uh, just a night ago there, he had a couple of hits in that uh, game two that you guys didn't get to see there. And uh, he's been kind of uh, really doing a good job here against uh, Royals pitching in this series so far here. As the Royals there, right fielder there, uh, Marquecas gets that one in shallow right field. So Tanaka up to bat next there. And we'll see what Tanaka can do with nobody on. 2-2 two -two count, two out. And we'll see a pitch here from Vargas as Vargas can get another 1-2-3. It looks like Vargas is going to be able to get that here as he gets a uh, one unassisted there. Or I should say 1-3 to three there uh, put away. So nice job there as the Royals and the Orioles still scoreless here in this ball game. Move on now to the bottom half of the same inning there in the third. And with two outs, we'll see a Fonte after bat. And we'll see, the, of course, the Royals uh, going through the order here pretty quick now already in this game and so we're in their powder blues here today i just now noticed that here so usually we do pretty good in powder blues we'll try to see if we can continue that as we'll see a 2-1 count that one's going to go right to the third baseman nice job there as that's a five to oh no it's not it's not gonna be a five to three it's gonna be a e5 probably there on that at bat or that on that fielding there we'll see how they'll score it as he does reach the he does reach their uh, uh, reached the first there by the error of the third baseman there. So that is an E5. So now two outs and one on board. Gordon up to bat next here. And he has a 1-0 count. And Gordon's going to slap this one onto right center field. And that is going to drop down. As if Fonte's now going to go from second to third. Go first to third there on that RBR, that single. And now Adam Lynn looking to try to get a... RBI in this situation. So Adam Lynn up to bat and X here. We'll see with runners on the corners. One, two count, two out. Lynn's goal is going to break his bat there. And that one goes almost near the second baseman. But that's a four to three put away. And that ends the inning. So no score here, but Royals leave two stranded there. There in the bottom of the third. Now move on to the top of the fourth. And again, another, th uh, another chance here now for the Baltimore. Orioles try to do something here. There's nobody on board, but did you have one out? And we'll try to see if we can stop this rally. As you'll see, a slapped out there to deep left center or left center or left field there, I should say. That one's going to get thrown in quickly. As Hosman does a great throw there to the leadoff or to the cutoff man, and that is going to put a runner on board. So Machado doubles to left on that at bat. As we go on now to Jones. Up next here, and he'll single this one up the middle there to center field. Runner's going to come around to score, and the Orioles are going to lead this one 1-0 one here at Kaufman. So good hit there from Jones as Jones gets the first uh, run on the board there for his ball club. J.J. Hardy's up next here. We'll see what Hardy can do. Is uh, Adam Lynn's going to go ahead and take off, or I should say uh, Adam Jones is going to go ahead and take off there on the hit and run, and he will go from first to or go from uh, second to third there on that single as now Aaron Hill up to bat next and we'll see what Hill can do as they're trying to stop this bleeding here but the bleed is going to continue as Hill hit finds a gap out there that one's going to roll near the out of town scoreboard here that's going to be a double no make it a triple here they're going to try to make a play at the third bag but no two runs will come in to score and Hill is on the third bag here on the diamond. So now with still with one out, now run, three runs scored in this inning. We'll see Dykes here hitting this one there to shallow right or left center field. That is going to be caught. The run is going to stay at second. So nice stop there as they throw that one in. But oh no, the runner's going to come in to score on that bad throw there. 
So now four runs have scored as Hill comes in to score there. Oh, tough break there for the Royals. So they're down by four runs here with now two way. And we'll see Severi now up to bat here. One for two for the Royals, or for the Orioles batter. As we'll see here, he'll hit this one to Morrow. This is going to be a six to three put out. If he can get the throw there to first, and they do so. And that is going to end this one. As four runs come across the plate here in the inning. Tough break there on, that, on those four base hits as the Royals are trailing here by four. So now we go to the bottom of the fourth here. We'll see what the Royals can now try to do with two out. And, or excuse, yeah, two out, one on third as Hosmer's there on third base. And Hosmer's going to come in here. He's going to score off this single from Marquecas, who uh, lines that with one out to center field. And that is going to be a run scored. So it's a 4-1 ball game. As we go down to the top half of the fifth, and we'll see with one on and two, uh, or I should say one out and two on, but uh, to knock on Blackman, both on first, or they're on first and second, and that's going to retire Machado. As uh, or no, that is not retired. Excuse, me, that's not Machado. That's going to get rid of uh, the batter there. As uh, well, so actually. Okay, uh, never mind, my bad. Uh, it was my mistake there. It was Tanaka now up to bat here. We'll see Tanaka, and we'll see here that is a uh, base hit there for Tanaka as he's on board. So uh, that first uh, first at bat there was not a good one there, but they are starting to get things going here. As I'm trying to look at my notes here and kind of getting lost here, but nonetheless here, it, okay, here we go. Uh, now uh, we'll see Blackman there now on first. Are there on uh, on first base? So Tanaka on second, Blackman on first, and now we have Machado here up to bat here. So with one out, and there's a base hit there that's going to go down the third base line here. And oh my goodness, what is Marquez doing? He overruns it, has to throw that one in there. This one's going to be a triple here now for Machado, and they score another two runs there to get this one to a six to one. Ball game. What is going on here? Looks like Moustakis, or I should say Vargas, is not going to get his 10th win here. So one for two for Adam Jones as this ball game is getting really out of hand for the Royals pitching. And that's a nice pitch there as he strikes out Jones on that uh, that curveball low in. And there you see his 1,000th career strikeout there for his career. That's two away now here on the Orioles, and but yet... They are still threatening here to score. J.J. Hardy up next here. And J.J. Hardy's going to ground this one there to left. That's going to score another run. And the Royals are really need to get out of this inning here as they are trailing now by six runs. It is 7-1 here as Machado scores there. Two outs. Hill up to bat next here. Hill dribbles this one there. Moustakas makes a play there at first. That's a 5-3 to three put away, and that ends the inning. Royals in trouble here in this inning as they give up another two runs here. And they are uh, trailing here by six. As Alex Gordon's up to bat next here. Nobody on and one out. Gordon has an 0-1 count here. And Gordon really needs this inning going good for him and his ball club. As he'll hit this one there. That's going to be a single past the first baseman. As that's going to be a nice base hit there to right field. And Gordon's on board. Adam Lynn 0 for 2. His bat really needs to go there as he has not did anything yet in this one. He's popped out in the third inning. And we'll see if he can turn things around. He has, he has a full count with one on and one out. And I wouldn't be surprised here in this situation. They'll try to pitch around him, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Is they're going to now try to go after Hosmer and see if they can get Hosmer into hot water here with maybe some kind of ground ball with a force out. At, uh, at second there. So we'll see if they can avoid that. As Hosmer there, one for two, a double back in the fourth. And Hosmer trying to keep this inning alive. There's one on, two out. Or I should say two on and one out with one one count. We'll see the pitch here. This one's going to be a dribbler there past the infield. That's going to be a base hit. Runner stay. Lead runner stays at third. And the bases are loaded. So Salvador Perez there, 0 for 2. Lined out in the fourth. And Perez now has a great opportunity now to try to bring home a run here with a nice base hit and try to keep this hit parade going. So 0-1 count here for Perez. Perez 
knows there's a lot of pressure on him on this situation as Perez hits this 0-1 off the pitcher. And that one is going to get Perez there out at first, but he does drive in a run. And that's unusual uh, situation here. It's Chris Tillman, oh, a little discomfort on the field as he's clutching his rib. And that ball must have hit right off his rib cage there. It doesn't look like to be Sear. Oh, no, it looks like serious enough for the guy to take him off the field. So Miguel Gonzalez will come out now, and he will pitch here in the bottom half of the fifth as uh, – He's going to have to try to get, uh, do some work, complete this work here that uh, the, the pitcher has uh, done so far here in this one. We'll go on and see what Mark, uh, Moose can do now with two out, two on, in runners and scores, which is a 7 2 ball game. As Moose has now opportunity now with the base hit, he can drive in two runs here. We'll see what he can do as he hits this one, and that's not going to help out here as that's just going to loft out there to left field. And that's a great catch, or decent catch there. Almost missed that one. But he holds on to it, and that is going to end the inning. So the Royals are trailing by five, seven to two. So now Adam Lynn up to bat here in the bottom of the seventh, two out. And he is uh, trying to get his bat going here as it has not been a good day here for him or this team. And Lynn gets a hold of all of this one there. That's going to go out to the Fountains. And that is a home run, a solo shot there for Adam Lynn, his 28th of the season. It's a 7-3 ball game here in Kaufman. Nice job there as the big slugger now continues his lead here in the American League, or really in the major leagues right now, with 28 home runs for the season. That one going 437 feet out there to the fountains. Nice job as they're going to have to fish that one out of there. And we'll take a look at the replay here. And he read that one perfectly there. He knew that was his going to be his pitch. And he was all over. He definitely put a beautiful charge on that ball. Sending that one screaming out of here. So let's go to the bottom of the eighth here. Two out. Gordon uh, able to drive three runs if he could. And he can easily make it a one-run ball game here. And this, uh, or he can, uh, well, with, uh, I should say, uh, Royals are starting coming back here. Uh, fortunately, the that part of the f of the recording, for whatever reason, just didn't want to focus with me. So it's a one-run ball game. Adam Lynn up to bat here. Lynn can really turn things around here if he can find a pitch there. As you see, 1-1 one, one count now. As Lynn here now trying to get this one run here, if he can get a base hit with two outs. And we'll see the pitch there. And that one's going to trickle through. That's going to be a base hit. And that ties this ball game up now. Seven all. Beautiful hit there as the Royals did a great job. And the hitting parade in that inning was just so amazing. I wish I just was able to save that footage there. But my, uh, of course, my capture card wanted to act funny as we see a swing and a miss there on Dobson here as we go to the top of the ninth. And that's a beautiful swing there. And that's one away. So Royals are trying to get themselves back into the dugout there so they can get their bottom of the ninth and get something going. Coleman here is trying to do a great job, doing a great job here pitching here in the ninth. As this one's going to drop out there to left field. That's two away as Tanaka line, lines out there to left field. So great hustle there from Gordon. As we'll see, Charlie Blackman up the back there, two for four, two singles. And oddly enough, I've been kind of looking at Blackman's numbers for the season and uh, he could be a guy that we could possibly maybe uh, get in a uh, pickup uh, during the trade deadline uh, if uh, he keeps uh, doing well uh, with these uh, with the numbers he's putting up right now. But it's 7-7 as we go to the bottom of this ninth here. We'll see what Perez can do. 0 for 1, or excuse me, 0 for 4 in the ball game as it's tied up here. And of course, we would love to have a walk off here to end this ball game. But most importantly, we just need some uh, hit. We need some base runners here. This one skies out to center field, and Adam Jones, of course, with the speed he has, he's going to be out there, and he does a great job of hunting that one down. As we'll see, Mustakas up to bat next here, and we'll see if what he can do. 0 for four, his bat's been struggling here. He flied out back in the eighth, so we'll see what he can do. And uh, we'll see the 0-2 pitch here. And this one, oh, he gets a hold of it. That one's going to go against the shift here. Can he make it there to first? And oh, no, what is going on? He overruns it. 
And he is tagged out. What was the deal there? Ah, come on. So here we go now. 2-0 count. And we'll see a ball hit right there to short. And that one's going to be a reaching play there as they get Marquecas out there on the or not, uh, Mark, uh, Marquecas there out on the play. So we'll move on now to the 14th inning. I will say that uh, for whatever reason, my controller was sticking there on that base running there from our, for our Moose Stock. And so that was my bad. And uh, got to definitely clean, clean, out those, clean those controllers there. So we move on there. You see Dobson lines out uh, to second. And that'll be the first out here in the inning. We'll see Tanaka up bat next here. He's one for five for the day. He's single back in the fifth. So, and, of course, Coleman is still out here pitching. And uh, so we'll see if uh, how long that's going to last here as that's a big nice play there to get the routine play. And that ends the inning. So Charlie Blackman at the bat now here. We'll see what we can try to keep uh, Blackman from the, be on the base pass here. And this one right there, nice stop there. Nice catch there from Mafonte, and that ends the inning. As we go now to the bottom of the 14th, we'll see what the Royals can do to get this game over with. They tie it; still ties seven all. So now we go Adam Lynn here, two for five in the ball game. He had a home run earlier in this one, and we'll see him lead off here in the inning. As we'll see what kind of uh, bat he'll have here. One zero -oh count. That is not going to help us out with a base runner. As that's just uh, he gets hit hits right into the shift on that play. Now three for six for Hosmer, and this again this is a, another one of those chances that Hosmer could take to really convince me to keep him on this ball club here. This one's going to sky out to deep center field, but of course Jones right there, no problem there for him as he get that one for out number two here in the 14th. So last chance now for the Royals to get something going here in the 14th. And to try to get back in this ball game, one for six. There you see he's single back in the 12th, and we'll see what Perez can do uh, with this situation. A 1-0 count here for Perez, two away. Nobody on, and Perez hits this one high, deep, out there to right field. Can it wrap around the pole? It does so, and that is going to be your ball game. Royals win this one of a final score. Of eight to seven here at the K. Look at you see there his teammates right there waiting for him. What a great way to win this one here in a big, long, drawn out game. The third game of this series. And they do a great job there of picking up the win. And they're now three and oh here in this series. Take a look at the replay. As that's just a beautiful swing there. And that is going to help us out here getting the win and moving on now to the fourth game of this series. Congratulations there from Perez. He does a great job there of helping us out with the win and, of course, getting uh, the victory there. As we'll see who our player of the game is in this one. Looks like it's going to be Alex Gordon there. Three for seven for the game. Two runs. And three RBIs there for him. He him, and Lynn have just been all-stars here, especially Alex. He has been going above and beyond in a lot of ways. Here. Excuse me, a lot of ways this season, stepping up as the leader of this ball club. And you know, he didn't put up, uh, he didn't light up the scoreboard that often. He had some uh, nice hits there, uh, especially this one. I believe this was the inning that they were. In that, uh, or no, that was the bottom of the eighth there. Uh, but yeah, nonetheless, that was a good hit uh, from him in that in that bat. But nonetheless, that inning that when they uh, came back and roared back, uh, that was even even better. It was just such a nice hit. Um, yeah, that was actually the inning that I could not, that I, for whatever reason, that that part of the footage was uh, for whatever reason just was bad. But um, nonetheless, there we get the win, and that. Is going to help us out. So, Alex Gordon, your player of the game. Nice game there from him. As, like I said, uh, three for seven for the day. A triple, uh, two RBI, or three RBIs, and two runs. Perez, two for seven. Our, our home run, two RBIs and a run. Hosmer, three for seven. Two doubles and a run. Lynn, two for six. Uh, home run and two RBIs and a run scored. 
Take a look here at the fourth and final game of the series, and the Baltimore is able to avoid the sweep as they win this one four to three. Baltimore four runs, eight hits, and no errors. As for the Royals, three runs, six hits, two errors in the ball game. Yeah, errors will come back to bite you very quickly in a ball game. Errors uh, will usually uh, come up as uh, runs in your ball game if you're not playing smart baseball. And so you like tonight or that night there, not a good night there as a to be a Royals fan as we do lose that one. New, unable to win this series and it's sweet, but we do win the series three to one. So that's nice to see. And as you take a look there, we have one more homestand, I believe, for uh, the. Uh, we have a road trip coming up before the All-Star game, and that road, uh, that homestand there is with ball, with uh, Oakland. Excuse me. Oh, I can't get my teams right here for the right reason. But nonetheless, that is it for this episode of uh, the Kansas City Royals franchise, episode 128, as we do uh, get a little bit of a winning roll going there for ourselves. One three in a row there against Baltimore and then lose the last one. But nonetheless, uh, we'll start that winning streak back up again in the next episode and we'll see how we do against uh, the A's and I believe that'll be the first game right there Brandon Shipley versus Nick uh, uh, Kingham there in that game as it should be a good one there we're trying to look to see if we can get Brandon Shipley's eighth win of the season coming up next time here on the Royals franchise if you guys enjoyed this episode please leave a like let's try to see if we can get 50 likes for this video also don't forget to subscribe if you happen to be new Hit that bell notification so you guys be notified of this channel, of this series, or any other series on the channel. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord. Check us out on Patreon if you want to be a uh, patron of the channel and help us out and uh, be a part of the channel that way uh, with uh, cool special perks and stuff like that. Uh, you guys can see ep uh, series or episodes of the, from series like this earlier day, you know, uh, days or e even weeks earlier uh, there, and uh, so you guys get a head start. Uh, seeing what's going on here on the channel. But as always, you guys, and like I always say, keep yourselves together healthy, and I will see you guys next time.